little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself. Hang on. <laughs> Introduce hang on, yourself. hang on. Wait. <laughs> Sun and Mood Reads. Hello, welcome. My name is Sun. This is Sun and Mood Reads. Today I am doing the small booktuber tag. I realise that I haven't done a tag yet. I have been tagged a few times and I was tagged for this small booktuber one about a month ago now. It hasn't been intentional, I just haven't gotten round to it. I guess I just wanted to spend the first few months of my booktubing journey just talking about books really. But I am learning that these tags are a wonderful opportunity to connect with other booktubers and uh, just show appreciation I guess and uh, connect with all the readers and viewers out there. And the other reason I thought November is the right time to film this is because my reading in November has been absolute rubbish. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough content to do any kind of November review or wrap up. So this tag was a wonderful opportunity to fill the gap in November. Now I was tagged by the incomparable fantasy professor himself, Philip Chase. If you guys haven't checked out Philip Chase's booktube channel yet, please do. His focus is definitely a fantasy and sci-fi books, but even if you're not into fantasy reading, his channel is actually really wonderful to watch. I am not joking when I say professor, he actually is a professor of literature of some sort. I think he's actually a doctor of it or something. So he knows what he's talking about. He really goes in depth with reviews and discussions of books, very insightful, and he's just a very warm and positive person. And the best thing about him is he really gets his point across without yelling. And he has time for us plebs, you know, for us small booktubers. I mean, he's reaching almost uh, 3000 subscribers or something. And so he is really deservedly on the way up, uh, but he still remembers little E's like us. And you will notice when you look at the thread of uh, comments on his channel, not only does he reply to everyone who comments, he actually engages in an active conversation with them. I think that really shows not only what kind of booktuber he is, but just what kind of human he is. So yeah, I think I'm over gushing, so I'm probably sounding a little bit creepy, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Please subscribe to Philip Chase and or watch his channel. He is absolutely brilliant. Thank you, Philip Chase. Let's move on to the small booktuber tag questions. I actually have my two daughters helping me out today. I thought it was a nice little opportunity, a bit of a play on words, small booktuber, get it? They're small. And basically they've been bugging me about wanting to be part of this booktube thing. I did clarify and tell them that this isn't what they think. It's not like the toy and Roblox gameplay reviews that they watch all the time, but they still wanted to be part of it. So I thought, cool. All right. Well, you can read the questions. So take it away, Eve and Delora. Introduce yourself. Does everyone else get a little bit weird about this as well? I feel like I'm in a job interview. Okay. Hi, my name is Sun. I was born in South Korea. I moved to Australia when I was about five. So I guess in many ways I had that typical immigrant upbringing. Yeah, but my parents and I settled in a very surfy beach town called Manly here in Sydney. I was very much the black sheep or the yellow sheep, I guess, in this case. But yeah, I found my way. I ended up all right as an adult. But now I live in Melbourne with my husband and my two gorgeous daughters. They are seven and five. Career-wise, I am currently a librarian. I started the job in March this year, literally two weeks before we went into lockdown. I run a lot of the story time programs for children and their families. I never thought I would ever become a librarian. It's always been a bit of a secret dream of mine, but it is everything I expected and more. I have so much room for creativity, a lot of fantastic projects, and I'm surrounded by books. Well, when we're not in lockdown, what more can I ask? It's fantastic. But aside from being a librarian, the last 20 years I have been a professional actor and singer here in the Australian TV, film and theatre industry. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I don't, I don't usually talk much about it. I'm a bit uh, like 
modest or shy, I guess. This year I've really had a chance to um, reflect on all the things that I've done and you know, I'm, I'm proud. I'm really proud of all the achievements and wonderful professional engagements I've had. And you know, I guess I don't want to take that for granted, um, especially after this year. But yeah, theatre wise, these are some of the productions that I have been a part of, uh, mainly musicals. Highlight was definitely being part of the original Australian production of Mamma Mia! The Musical. It was my very first gig out of drama school. I did 18 months, 18 months of singing ABBA songs, eight shows a week. Yeah, so I'm a bit over ABBA to say the least, but I made some lifelong friends. There's nothing like the theatre, just being there up on stage and um, just having a crowd in front of you and just connecting and just making people happy. TV wise, I've done a few things. Here are some of the things that I've been part of. My highlight was definitely being one of five members of a kids TV group called High Five. We kind of came out like the same time as The Wiggles and we were just as much a phenomenon as The Wiggles, but The Wiggles kind of just kept getting more popular and popular and I iconic and we just kind of but it was an amazing experience I learned a lot I learned a lot about uh, presenting and how to yeah basically be like genuine in front of the camera yeah anyway if you type in high five Sun Park you will probably get some videos on YouTube of me you know dressed up like an overgrown five-year-old singing songs and stuff another little highlight of high five I guess was I actually got a little doll made a little sun doll made for me this is me apparently and proof on my bum it says high five and look it says sun my five-year-old she actually well she used to sleep with this until until a week ago uh, she actually woke up in the middle of the night she had a nightmare because um mummy doll was staring at her so yeah, she doesn't sleep with Mummy Doll anymore. And then yeah, I've had a lot of like little bit parts here and there on TV shows. Highlight there has definitely been, and it's, it wasn't a big role at all, but it was an ongoing one. It really was like an actor's dream to get this role. And that was season six of Wentworth. It's an Australian drama series. I guess kind of like Orange is the New Black, but not as like dark comedy. It's like a straight drama basically. I got to play a character named Cherry and and she was just a very antagonistic inmate, not very nice. And she had a scar on her face, like, oh, there she is, gorgeous. But yeah, actor's dream, scar face, inmate, antagonistic, violent, got to do some stunts, got to hang with just the most amazing, iconic Australian actresses. That was definitely an experience and a half. So yeah, all round, I am truly, truly grateful for all the uh, professional experience that I've had as an actor and singer. But I do feel like I'm kind of going to the second half of my life um, as a librarian. It honestly is fulfilling me in the same way that um, acting and singing does. And I've got this thing, this booktube thing as a bonus. Uh, this is another creative outlet and yeah, love and life. How long have you been on booktube? I have been on booktube for three months, that's it. And before that, I hadn't actually watched a lot of booktube, wasn't very familiar with it. I've been learning how to booktube as well as uh, watching a lot of booktube channels. Yeah, what a wonderful, wonderful community. What types of videos do you make? I'm still figuring that out. I've only been doing this for three months, like I said, and I am learning, particularly this month of November, that I need to just stick as close to who I am as much as possible. I know it may sound obvious, but yeah, the minute I just try to step away or just, or try to do something different or do something gimmicky, two things happen. One is I it just comes across contrived and I don't enjoy the process. And two, it puts me off reading, which is actually what I was most worried about when I went into this booktube journey. My reading life is priority for me and I don't want anything to affect it in any negative way. I read for enjoyment. I read whatever the hell I want. If I just start reading for reasons other than just pure enjoyment, just reading what I want, I get completely put off 
the particular book that I chose, but also just I get put off reading full stop. And I get put off reading for a very long time. And that's what happened to me in November this month. You can check out the video, but I did a November TBR and I themed it as books that scare me. So I wanted to challenge myself, horror books and, and just books that are like really long and books that I wouldn't usually enjoy. But the experience was absolute rubbish because I didn't want to read these books and I was kind of forcing myself to do it. So I didn't get through any of the books and it actually put me off reading completely for the month of November. Even books that I knew I would love, I, I just couldn't even go there. It was just, traumatic <laughs> and you know this is something that i knew about myself already but for some reason i thought hey i've been on booktube for three months so maybe my reading skills and my reading life has changed no it hasn't it only just consolidated for me that i just need to read books that i want to read and if i love them i can talk about them if i don't i can talk about them but i chose those books purely for the reason that i'm excited to read them that's it. Did I answer the question? <laughs> so yeah, I'm figuring it out. What do you love about booktube? What do I love about booktube? Generally in life, I feel fulfilled when I am ticking two boxes. One is creativity, the other is connection. I need to be creative. I need to have a creative outlet. I find that in booktube. You know, it's all my own content. I am talking about something that I absolutely love. Yeah, I find it, I find this really, really fulfilling. And the second aspect, connection. You know, the other day I was talking to my best friend about booktube, that I'm enjoying it so much and it's really fulfilling me and doing some acting and singing it is fulfilling as well, but the highs are so high and the lows are so low. So it's, it's a different kind of sensation when it comes to creative fulfillment. I was talking to my friend about this and I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know, I can't seem to articulate it. And my best friend said, well, with stage and performing, especially in your younger years, you were seeking validation and sometimes you got it and sometimes you didn't. Whereas in something like Booktube, where you are your own you know, script writer, director, boss. It's all about connection and you are getting that all the time with viewers, with other booktubers, with this whole wonderful like-minded community. And so I thought that is it. That is what I love about this project. I have a sense of connection. Just the support network is so amazing. I've only been in this for three months and already I just feel like I'm part of some kind of awesome online family you know yeah so those are the two reasons it's creative and i am connecting with others so yep that's why i love booktube what types of books do you read okay types of books this is constantly changing constantly evolving but i did mention this in my booktube newbie tag but generally i find i like reading books that uh, the setting and the characters are a little bit further away from my reality. So whether it's a, like a fantasy or like a different era, but within that separation, I like finding the common ground. So yeah, I, f I like finding connection and empathy in a world or a story that's very different from my reality. And I'm noticing that I've been seeking that a lot more this year. And I don't know if it's because of COVID or because of the fact that I found some like really awesome fantasy booktubers out there and I've been introduced to some amazing books. Yeah, I have been leaning more towards fantasy reads and also classics. I've always loved classics, but I'm really getting into them now. They just seem to be hitting the spot for me. But I do read a lot of different genres. If you watch my top five books ever video, every single book is within a different genre. It is very various, my tastes, but at the moment, yeah, gravitating more towards fantasy and classics. What is your favorite video that you've made? I don't have one. I am super critical of my videos and of me in general. <laughs> Actually, as much as I downplay it, I kind of enjoy just having my kids in this video. So I'm hoping I can kind of edit it together so it's kind of fun. I kind of enjoyed, you know, getting them involved. Yeah, my girls are really cool. Tag at least four small booktube channels or every small channel you can think of. 
Okay, so now we come to the good bit. This is why I wanted to do this. I just wanted to mention some amazing booktubers out there. This really isn't going to be a tag for the small booktuber because some of them aren't actually small. <laughs> They're not small booktubers. I just wanted to mention them though, because they're just wonderful. And a couple of them have also mentioned me and I absolutely appreciate them doing that. Wonderfully supportive. Uh, so I just wanted to reciprocate that, I guess. And also, I think a lot of these booktubers that I'm about to mention, they've already done the small booktuber tag. So really, I think this is more of a shout out. So the first one like I'd like to mention is Kate Howe. She's so wonderful. So a couple of days ago, I started getting all these subscribers suddenly and I thought, oh, what's going on? And then I just went on to Kate's uh, channel just to check out all the wonderful reads that she's been reading lately. And I noticed in her booktube shout outs, she mentioned me and I thought, what? So I guess I just wanted to return that favor and say, everyone, please, please, please check out Kate Howe. She is a wonderful, wonderful booktuber. She's not small by any means. She's, I think she's got about five, 6,000 followers. Um, not followers, what do you call it? Five, 6,000 subscribers. She is very, very passionate about all things classic and uh, mystery. And we have a few little common interests with our mystery reads and our classics and our love for the audiobook narrator slash actress, Juliet Stevenson. Yes, she's just wonderfully brilliant and just so supportive of fellow booktubers. And um, she's also a super booktube mum like myself. Hell yeah to all the mums who find time somewhere to read books and talk about them. So yes, please check her out. The next booktuber I'd like to mention is Amrita by the Book. She is so freaking funny and so freaking smart. Honestly, some of the videos, the reviews, thoughts, discussions that she comes up with are just genius and so funny and so witty and just really thought provoking as well. Man, her brain, I swear if I was a zombie, her brain would be the first one I would eat. Everyone needs to check her out. She needs to have more subscribers than she has. There's a video where she ranks all the Mr. Darcy's of all the adaptations. Um, that's quite funny. She does this really funny series of bad news lovers where she just kind of analyzes and talks about all the, all the male romantic protagonists that uh, have been around in the literature world. Yeah, like she's just got so much fun stuff. So please, please check her out. Okay, the next booktuber I'd like to mention, oh, I don't know how to say his channel. Dementidote, Dementidote. <laughs> anyway, his name is Ben. He reads a lot of literary fiction and classics. I literally just discovered him like three days ago through Kate Howe. He is hilarious and it seems that he's come from like a drama school background so he's like an actor uh much like me if we had gone to drama school together we would have hung out and we would have been those guys that you know got up to mischief i just watched a review that he did of jane eyre which is my you know favorite book of all time and he like semi acts out a lot of the characters and the plot as he is reviewing. It's absolutely entertaining and quite insightful as well. So yeah, please, please check him out. So the next booktuber I'd like to mention is Liz from Galactic Reads. She is an Aussie booktuber, a fellow Melbourneian as well, which I recently discovered. And as you might guess from her booktube channel name, she does review a lot of uh, sci-fi and fantasy books, but I just find her reviews and her thoughts and discussions really, really interesting to watch. Yeah, she just has some really intelligent, wonderful things to say about books. And she also works in the publishing industry. Uh, so she has a lot of great thoughts on structures of stories and editing and, and, and plots and just all that kind of aspect that I don't know how to pinpoint, but she really goes into it. So that's really interesting. I really like her lighting in her videos. She's just got this beautiful kind of like psychedelic blue lighting atmosphere. It's like this, like, it's like a psychedelic fish tank, but yeah, it's kind of cool. 
The next booktuber is also another Australian. His name is Sam Dawson. He's another booktuber where I just, I just get his humor. I get his cynicism. He also reads a lot of uh, literary fiction, contemporary, quite a bit of Australian fiction as well. So if you're after Australian book recommendations, I'd go to him. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm attracted to booktubers who I feel like in my real life, I just like to hang with. And um, Sam Dawson is definitely one of them. Definitely check him out, please. And last person I'd like to mention is Ridima. She also predominantly uh, reviews fantasy and sci-fi. I do follow a lot of fantasy booktubers, although I don't read a lot of fantasy. I am reading more, but I don't know. I feel like it's like, it's the same feeling I get when I go see like a ballet or an opera or something. Like I know I'm not trained to be a ballet dancer. I can't do those pirouettes and stuff. So I like really appreciate it. I think it might be the same kind of attraction I have with like maybe <laughs> fantasy booktubers. I just feel like I look up to them and go, oh wow, they know so much about fantasy. And I get so many wonderful recommendations and um, they've really helped me learn how to just kind of like process and really look at the parallels and look at fantasy stories on a deeper level. But anyway, Ridima, she's fantastic as well. Um, she's just got a really wonderful calm demeanor about her and just she has just some really original discussions about fantasy reads. A lot of the books that she reviews and talks about I've never read and I don't know if I'll ever read but I just really like watching <laughs> her talk about them <laughs> and I've mentioned this to her but she looks like the real life version of Pocahontas so yeah anyway she's awesome please check her out as well okay so that was it that was my small booktuber tag thank you so much once again to Philip Chase for tagging me and thank you to my daughters Alora and Eve for reading out the questions and being part of my video yeah, that was fun. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, check out the booktubers that I mentioned. Links are below. Say hi in the comments. Subscribe if you feel compelled to. Hopefully I will see you next time. Bye. Sun and moon.